Israel and Gaza have been at war with each other for most of the 21st century. Many people have been kidnapped, the borders have been blocked, and over 10,000 rockets have been fired across the border. Still, there is no end in sight for the conflict between the two countries, so the attacks may not end for good anytime soon. Israel made a weapon straight out of Sifi movies because it couldn't stop Gaza's rocket fires. One that is quiet, can't be seen, and can capture almost all targets in as little as four seconds. The first real laser gun in the world. Rise of Iranian Threats Iran fired more than 300 drones and rockets at Israel on April 13, 2024. At the same time, Hezbollah shot dozens of Grad rockets at positions in the Golan Heights held by the Israel Defense Force. After that, there was a flood of rockets that hit a wall of defense. Late in October, Iran attacked Israel heavily with ballistic and cruise missiles, drones, and artillery backed by proxies. The attack was directed at military and intelligence bases all over Israel. Over 200 missiles were fired from Iran to positions in Syria, Yemen, and Lebanon, which were held by Hezbollah. The Israeli Defense Forces confirmed this. The Aero 3 interceptors from Israel hit ballistic rockets while they were still in space. Even more were killed at lower levels by David Sling missiles, which looked like U.S. Patriots. At the same time, U.S. warships and planes shot down some of the attackers. Israel's famous Iron Dome, a network of short-range defensive missiles guided by radar, was the last line of defense. Israel had largely stopped the attack by shooting down cruise missiles, ballistic missiles, rockets, and drones. And that was the point. But Israel's powerful, multi-tiered, and integrated air defenses weren't completely safe. It is said that several Iranian missiles hit air bases as part of coordinated waves of drones, missiles, and rockets meant to overrun Israeli defenses and use up all the interceptors that were on hand. This time, the shield held strong, but Israeli strategists know it's a numbers game because they've seen that both Israeli and Ukrainian defenders are using up rockets faster than the industry can make new ones. That's why Israel wants an air defense system that always has weapons. What's the answer? Answer here laser weapon system Iron Beam. Rafael Advanced Defense Systems first showed off Iron Beam, also called Shield of Light, in 2014. It is a 100 kilowatt high energy laser weapon device. Iron Beam is not meant to replace Iron Dome. Instead, it is meant to work with it. The Iron Beam is an unstoppable and limitless weapon system that can utilize directed energy to automatically eliminate short-range threats from up to 10 kilometers away as long as it is plugged into a power source. It can also do even more amazing things an unlimited magazine. Even though they are very dangerous, bullets and missiles put a lot of limits on guns and rocket launchers. When they run out of bullets, they aren't as good as weapons from the Middle Ages. The Iron Beam is not the same. The Iron Beam's gun depth isn't quite endless. Batteries and parts don't last forever, but they have a very large magazine compared to rocket batteries. As long as there is a stable power source nearby, the Iron Beam means that military artillery never has to reload. It creates an endless magazine with very powerful shots, saving important time. And since every second counts on the battlefield, this will save lives in the end. This takes a lot of pressure off of Israel's already strong air defense systems, which can stop anything from grenades to intercontinental ballistic missiles by themselves cost per intercept. The cost per collision is also very important. A single Iron Dome rocket costs between forty dollars and $50,000. The long-range Shahid 136 drones from Iran are simple, low-tech machines that cost less than $30,000 each. This is in contrast to cruise missiles, which can cost millions of dollars each. Hamas mostly uses Qasim rockets, which are made from industrial pipes and handmade explosives and cost less than $1,000 each. The truth is that Israel's current method works, but it costs a lot when you use use $50,000 missiles to hit $10,000 targets. For how long can you stand to be at the wrong end of the cost curve? Iron Beam is here. It only costs $2 per intercept, so it can stop a lot of strikes for very little money. Speed of light attack. Lasers use light energy, and Iron Beam's 100 kilowatt laser, which is fired from two different guns, can move at about 180,000 miles per second. Lasers are the fastest weapons because they can travel at the speed of light. A drone, rocket, missile, fighter jet, or anything else that can travel faster than sound cannot stop this weapon. Because of this, the Iron Beam has a success rate that is as close to 100% as it can get. The Iron Beam will definitely destroy its targets. Intelligent Interception The Iron Beam is a smart tool that does most of its work without any help from a person. The Iron Beam is capable of automatically identifying and tracking threats, and it does this constantly. For this reason, Israel wants to line their borders with Iron Beam units because the weapons fire themselves, keeping threats from coming into the country and making sure that everyone in Israel, including the military, has a good night's sleep. The military will have less active defense to do. Iron Beam also lowers the chance of damage to other things. The Iron Dome's supersonic Tamir 
interceptor missiles weigh 200 pounds each and are often used over crowded areas. If the engine fails or misfires, it could do a lot of damage, but a laser always goes where it's directed and will not land somewhere you don't expect. Fast delivery. Iron Beam was tested safely in 2022, but it wasn't supposed to be used until three years later. In April, President Biden accepted a $15 billion military aid package for Israel, with $1.2 billion set aside for Iron Beam. This was done to speed up the timeline. This used to be called R&D funds in the plans, but now the money is for buying things. A big bet on technology that hasn't been tested yet, but if it works, it would make a defense shield that is almost impossible to break. If everything goes as planned, and Iron Beam will save the lives of Israelis who are constantly being attacked from the air. As more guns are made and their ranges get longer, the United States could eventually have the same problem. But Israeli knowledge of how to make lasers could solve that problem as quickly as life world-leading laser systems. The U.S. military has 31 different high-energy laser projects right now, but none of them have worked in the real world. The Demsharad device, which stands for Directed Energy Maneuver Short-Range Air Defense, didn't seem to impress soldiers in the Middle East because it was hard to keep the beam on target. But Blue Halo's PHEL Locust Laser is the only weapon in the U.S. that has recently worked as it should. The 3,400 LB solid-state laser system that uses an Xbox controller to guide its own target tracking radar, a defense contract with more than 40 years of experience in laser research made it. It gives 360 degree coverage for air defense. However, it doesn't have 100 kilowatts of power like the Israeli Iron Beam or 50 kilowatts like the M. Sharad and XN1 rules. Locust only makes 20 kilowatts of power, but its AI control systems are very good at what they do. The smart control keeps the laser on a 1 slash 4 inch spot that is so focused that it can easily cut through 1 slash 4 inch steel. Locust's AI beam control system can identify and sort drones so that it can attack them where they are weakest. In the case of a quadcopter, this could mean taking out a pitch blade. With this smart targeting, Locust can quickly kill even bigger drones, the kind the military calls Group 3. That means it can fight anything from small, quick quadcopters to Russia and Iran's waves of 400-pound long-range attack drones. Pihal was the first laser to shoot down a drone with this technology, which just got here in time. Lasers can shoot down drones as quickly and continuously as they come because they have an almost infinite stock of bullets. Lasers are the last line of defense in a stack system because because they can quickly and accurately shoot down many drones. China gave Iran laser-guided energy weapons to use against drones, which could blind or even kill them in some cases for this reason. The Iranian government has been a major force in the spread of unmanned aircraft systems around the world, such as kamikaze drones. However, it also faces many of the same threats, especially from Israel. With its tracker, this new Chinese laser can find drones up to 3.1 miles or 5 kilometers away. There are claims that the system's laser has between 10 and 20 kilowatts of power and can blind or dazzle targets up to three kilometers away. It is also said to be able to kill some targets that get within one mile or approximately 1.5 kilometers. It says that the laser can work for up to 200 seconds in the translated version of the spec sheet, that's just over three minutes at a time, and charges up in less than five minutes for the first shot and every shot after that. This shows some of the main pros and cons of laser-directed energy weapons. These weapons have benefits like a magazine depth that is practically infinite, but they can only hit one target at a time and need time to recharge or cool down between shots. The military can quickly move toward wide-scale use now that lasers have been shown to work in battle. In the end, lasers might be used on the battlefield just like they are in science fiction, but for a much more important reason to keep our country safe. Also, if you care about the safety of your country, you should subscribe to this channel and like this video. Now do that, and thanks for watching.